The Supreme Court heard arguments today in one of the most significant cases of its term about whether the 2020 census can include a question asking everybody whether they're a citizen of the United States. It's a question that the Trump administration wants to add and that uh, various states and cities and uh, immigrant rights and other groups uh, oppose. And the reason that this is important is because the results of the census will help determine the allocation of seats in the House of Representatives among the states, as well as the allocation of, of billions of dollars in federal money over the next 10 years. The challengers in this case say that immigrants and Hispanics will be much less likely to uh, answer a question about the census, uh, about citizenship on the census, and perhaps respond to the census at all if this question is included. And that will make the results of the census less rather than more accurate. That's a view that is shared by the experts at the Census Bureau as well. But the administration says it wants to push forward with this question basically because the uh, provision of, the, of information about citizenship will help the Justice Department enforce a federal law known as the Voting Rights Act. The five Supreme Court uh, conservative justices didn't seem particularly bothered by the uh, lower court rulings against the question or by the claims that the challengers put forward. They seem more ready to accept the arguments that the administration made defending the use of the citizenship question on the 2020 census. The question itself hasn't been asked of everybody uh, since 1950, although before that, a citizen question of some kind was fairly common on the census.